In May 2014, 100 people in over a dozen countries around the world were arrested in an FBI-led investigation into a type of malware called Black Shades. Malware can arrive on your computer alongside nearly any internet traffic. Once there, it can take or steal files, track communications, and turn on a microphone or camera. After that, your computer belongs to the attacker. There was a guy who was using this malware in order to spy on Miss Teen USA. To think that someone was watching me in my bedroom for a year and had all my most intimate moments. You could even hear what you were saying. Yeah. Getting access to somebody's computer or their phone is very similar to getting access to, you know, the contents of somebody's mind. You see all of their emails, all of their messages online, all of their searches. Malware is exceptionally intrusive. But while the Black Shades hackers were on their way to jail, similar malware was quietly being used in a very different way by governments and law enforcement agencies around the world. Used by some of the world's most repressive regimes, the spyware is sold by a lucrative and clandestine market that isn't well understood or regulated. Activists and even journalists have long suspected that they've been targets. 